What's up, friends? This is Jazz, bringing you an update video, kind of. It is kind of something to ask for your help. And also, well, I have several questions for you. One, how do you like the new intro, What's up, friends? I really like that instead of What's up, YouTube, because I'm talking to YouTube, but I consider you guys my friends, and not just YouTube. So, tell me what you think of that new introduction. And also, I really need your help. I know I have a lot of Let's Plays on the go, and those are still continuing, but I would need you guys to list some games down below that can I can easily get emulators to. Not just something that, like, it, the emulator has to be somewhat decent to set up on Windows 7 as well. I want some games that aren't known as well that you'd like me to give a try, or at least to look at. Right, because I want to try some new games. One for myself, and two, if I think I can continue with the series with the game, I will do a series on it. Like I want to try something brand new, right? Something not many people have done. Which what am I saying? A, one person probably has at least done every game, almost out there, right? Some way, shape, or form, I understand that. But I notice a lot of my games have been topped by other people. Right, and I want to bring you guys something new to the channel. So, anyone can suggest games down below for me to take a look at, and then if I think it's a possibility for a Let's Play, then that's what I'll do. I will Let's Play it. I'm thinking of games that I'd like to Let's Play anyway, but when you think about it, more than half the ones on my list probably have been done far better, and will always be overshined. Right? And not given much. It might, let's play probably wouldn't be given much of a chance otherwise. Like, I'll let you know and don't get too excited because I haven't been doing them yet. Games that I've been thinking of doing were one, all to start it, to start off. I may not be able to, like, finish it all in one go because I need to buy these games, of course. But one is Life is Strange for the Xbox, which is a game that I think I will really enjoy playing. One is Being the Walking Dead, which I haven't received yet. I'm getting it for my birthday, which is next month, by the way. One, I I do eventually want to do a Pokemon Platinum Let's Play. Some way, shape, or form. I want to finish a Soul Silver or Heart Gold Let's Play eventually. And I will figure out how to do it. I will record it and make sure it's all saved. Right? And now that will be at the very bottom of my list because I have attempted several times with that. So I'm giving you guys a huge break from those type of things. Like, there's just plenty of Let's Plays that I want to do. I also like the idea of Pokey Park. And you're going to kill me for this. I may want to redo the Harvest Moon and Wonderful Life one eventually and maybe eventually do Animal Parade. I know I made a rant about Harvest Moon and there are plenty of games that are really sucky that I really hate but the wonderful life and the animal parade are two exceptions for me I've been addicted to them at one point and I could probably get back into them for a let's play so I do not say they're all going to be done like right now or start it soon but those are just I have a list of games in my head that I want to do but I have to realistically think how a lot of them have been done thousands of times especially games like the walking dead and life is strange they've been killed right but it's something out of my comfort zone but not too out of it that i'd like to really attempt i also am eventually going to get south park stick of truth as well that i'm thinking of let's play in in the future and a lot of you guys especially nman64 said you let's go try a mario game and yes i eventually want to try a mario game but Mario game, but realistically, like, I'll tell you something. I was trying Mario Party 3, like, just playing it. I downloaded the emulator and everything for it. I was playing it, and the only thing I have in my head now from that game is, da 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 If I try any Mario game, it's probably going to be, well, not Party. I meant the Mario, Super Mario, I think. It's not Mario Party. I think I would rather the Mario Party, the one, like, the N-Man 60 is playing that over the actual Mario games where you have to go and jump and collect coins and oh my god 
I mean, literally, it's ridiculous how often you get killed in those type of Mario games. You know what? The, the whole Let's Play would consist of me dying. And as funny as it is, the first maybe even ten times I'll get it, after a while, you guys would just be click off the video that quick that I sure would be. So, I, I don't want to do something that I'm going to keep dying in. And yes, yes, The Walking Dead is a risk of that, but it's more funny when, the, when you die in that. It, like, at least there's graphics and it's more of a story to it. So there's some more interest to it. And I'm sorry for rambling on, but some videos like that, I just, just want to talk to you guys, right, about how things are going. I love what I'm doing. Like, I have days where I have a love of video games and I'm up there and want to do it every day. And just like some of you guys, like, there's been some people that will make an update, in which I completely understand that update. Is that they just some, some days they don't have the energy, right? They just feel like doing something else. And I completely understand and agree with them with that. Sometimes you need to take a day or so off to get you back into the mood of it, right? And I want to be always in the mood for the games. That's the point of a Let's Player, to entertain, right? And to make friends with their community. Because that's how a lot of friendships are made, right? Like, for example, I know this is a funny thing to say on a Let's Play channel, but I watch several types of videos, not just Let's Plays. Like, I watch vlogging channels, right? Like, for example, I watch, if any of you, even gamers, like, let's say there's some sim, or sim gamers who like vlogging, right? Or female gamers, right? I watch The Daily Bumps, Ellie and Jarrett, Katie and Colin and things like that too. And they're all best friends when they live in different states, I think. For the most part. I think different states, but they've made friends over YouTube. And I kind of like to, I know it's funny, and, and don't ever worry about me getting too personal, but in a sense, I kind of enjoy the making friends aspect of it. Right? And asking opinions from those people that I trust the most on YouTube. And that's why I also like the intro, What's Up Friends. There may still be some, there are still going to be some of my videos that will say What's Up YouTube. Or What's Up, like, I'll be trying to say What's Up Friends in my next Let's Plays. But the ones that have not been uploaded yet, or the ones have not, have, that have been recorded, not uploaded, will say uh, What's Up YouTube. But it's not like I could just go post-narrate that one line. There's no point, right? But I personally find something personal to what's up, friends. Because that's what I consider you all, my friends. I may not be able to get to every single one of your videos. But whenever I have the free time, then I do. I watch as many of your videos as I can. And even if I can't always comment on it, I always try to get a like in. So, again, please, to recap, please... Suggest some games that aren't as done as overdone. Like, done to death. That I can download an emulator for. And if you want to, you can suggest three or four 3DS games if you want. I have a 3DS capture device. But the point is, with the 3DS games, I have to completely buy. Not promoting piracy completely. I mean, there's point with buy buying games. But, but that's what I was going to say, but what, but what they should realize too is that when we're playing the game, we're still promoting their game. But anyway, that's a whole other story. But if you want to, suggest a few 3DS games that I can eventually look into buying later. But for now, my top request is games that can be, that you know, can be downloaded and installed easily. And if, if, if you want to, give me directions on how to install that certain emulator. Anyone who has the time to. Because I have a Windows 7 Samsung computer. And I think it is, it has a Core 17. Into, like, I know, I'm just trying to let you know that my base is in my computer for you'll know what would work. And I do not know for certain. Um, try to look for my control panel. I apologize for that. But I'm just seeing where 
Hmm. No, that's not it. Jeez, I'm just trying to find. No, I can't find. Wait. I don't know if I'm 64 bit or 32 bit. How is it that I checked that again? Wait, control panel, system and security, okay, um, hardware, action, where, sound, no, programs, no, here it's, uh, display. No, I cannot find it at all. Where it's in programs. Hmm. I apologize for that. You know what? I will just link that into the description. That will be a whole lot easier for you guys to follow. I just, I want to be able to set up an emulator, play a certain game at a certain speed. I've, I've got to keep in mind that Dolphin emulator runs slower than most of my other emulators, so be cautious with that. Let me know how to set it up to run a certain speed. That's why I'd rather, I got a capture device for my GameCube games, but I cannot do that for the games I don't own. So if I get a Dolphin emulator, I'm trying to, try to find ways to buy discount GameCube games and things to try, but let me know a game that I can download the emulator to and have a decent run of it without it going literally like that. Well, sorry for the extremely long update. You can re you can listen to certain parts, rewind it through if you want, but I just pretty much rambling. I will see you guys next time, friend.